Welcome to the Optimal Fitness Golf Academy by Glyn Meredith. We have the Dubai Desert Classic next week, um, and here we've got Lee Westwood, who came tied second in 2012. Uh, Lee has a very interesting swing. We can see here with a driver. Looks like a very uh, solid setup position. Uh, as he starts to coil it up to the top now, you can see the first thing you notice is a, uh, a very big shoulder turn there, almost looking at the back of uh, Lee's shirt there. He now does an excellent job of uh, centering the body or shifting his weight towards the target. And it's from here on down with Lee that we tend to see quite a rapid internal rotation of the uh, right shoulder joint, and that's why you can see there it looks like the uh, right shoulder is almost smothering forward. What that tends to do now is release the lag in the club head quite early so you can see before impact there or a couple of frames before impact the lag in the club head has uh, already completely released so if you compare that to something that's a little bit more conventional you can see in this swing as he comes down into impact that club head is lagging a lot further behind the uh, behind the hands there through this position here and each frame as he comes down now the club head is being released down on top of the ball so with Lee, from uh, the position we see here, if the club head was to continue, it would tend to uh, scoop under his hands far too early or flip under his hands far too early, which is why we see Lee looking like he's slightly holding the club off here and leading with the uh, left elbow, as opposed to what you might see with a little bit more of a conventional style, just releasing the club head and uh, turning through with the shot. That also tends to uh, get Lee into the position you see here, his chest and his head are uh, forced slightly backwards. So it's an interesting uh, move that Lee makes here, um, but it seems to work for him very nicely. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how he gets on next week.